Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We're the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole United States of America. And you might ask yourself, what is this big thing you have in your hand, Nick? You know what this is? This is a Flying W Award. Our team has worked so hard for the last year and from Winnebago has recognized us as one of their top 10% of dealers in the nation. And we got this awesome Flying W Award. This is our third year in a row getting it. 21, 22, and now 2023. And it's because we have great service, great sales, great service after the sale, all of it. And you know, the Winnebago is a great company. They sell a ton of different RVs from travel trailers to class A's to little class B's, all kinds of stuff in between. But what we specialize in at Sunshine State RVs are the class B's, the vans. The smaller, the better. Vans range from 17 feet, which is this one here, all the way up to 24 feet. And that's the Class B van. So what we're gonna talk about today is the brand new, just got released last week. It's a 2024 Winnebago Solus Pocket, and it's the 36B version. The B is way, way better than the A, I think. I don't know, it's way different. Um, but it has the option for lithium batteries. It has a full bathroom, it has an air conditioner, it has a heater, it has a hot water heater. It has so much, so much possibilities. And guess what? This is the best part about the pocket is it's only 17 feet tall, long, 17 feet tall. That'd be huge. It's 17 foot long. That's, oh, that's like double me. Like I'm six foot, that's, that's a little more than double. It's definitely smaller than my wife's SUV. She is the biggest SUV known to man and this RV is smaller. So check out this video. We're gonna go all through it. It probably won't take a lot of time because your RV is so small. But we're gonna go through the outside, go through the inside, show you all the possibilities of this Winnebago Solus Pocket 36B. I'm gonna show you guys the outside of this Solus Pocket. What is so cool about it, as you can tell in this picture, it is only 17 feet long. Most RVs are 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Like a regular ProMaster's 20 feet, 10 inches. This is the shortest ProMaster that there is. But what's cool is it's still a six cylinder. It still has some towing capacity. You can still go 80, 90 miles an hour if you want it to. Uh, all the same safety features on this ProMaster. It is just the smallest one they make. So you might say, how is this an RV? It's so stinking small. That's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you all the functions, everything that this van has inside that's gonna make this one of the per square inch most, of, most featured RV on the market because they fit so much into this Soul's Pocket. So to start with, we have some LED lights on top. We got the nice big W running boards. Like I always talk about, they, they put that W everywhere they can. I really like this color. This is a ceramic gray color. This has the new ProMaster front end, all the new safety features, nine speed transmission, blind spot assist, push button start, digital dash, everything that they offer. I like the black wheels too. I think the black wheels kind of fits the vibe of the pocket because it is, it's uh, it's not your grandparents RV, you know? It's not something, it is, it is something very, very unique being that it's 17 foot, it's for someone that wants to fit in a normal parking spot, but still have lithium and a toilet and a shower and a bed and a sink and stove and all that. So as we're walking through, I'm gonna jump inside here in a second, but this is like the camping side. So you would camp here, hang out. You know, these are meant to like explore, like look how beautiful this is. Like this is meant to just go out and go for a hike, go for a bike ride, go on a trail to like really enjoy God's creation but have everything you want in your pocket, in your Solus, in the, in the Winnebago Class B. So what's really cool about this, I'm gonna show you from the back, is the improvements that they made in the back of this van. So just to start off with, on the outside of it, you do have a tow hitch, you have a couple cameras up here, so you have your 360 surround view camera. But what, you, what is unique, check out this bathroom. So being in the 17 foot Solus to have this size of a bathroom with lots of space, you can sit on the toilet, you can brush your teeth and use the bathroom and shave at the same time. You can 
have all your little hair product things right here if you need with the 110 plug. Um, lots of storage in here, medicine cabinets with mirrors. Um, this is perfect for my wife. My wife has like 12 hair products that she takes everywhere she goes. And I have like an eight in one shampoo, but she would fill this entire area up here with hair products and face products and all that different soaps and all that. And then she'd give me like a little corner, like one of these little cubbies right here. But lots of space in here, you know, storage here, cubby compartments here, storage there. There's also a place to hang things up there. Um, what's cool is there's a there's 110 plugs in here and USB ports in here. So, and then right up in here, way up there, you have a port that you can mount something on the roof if you need, some like a Wi-Fi router or something different. There is solar up on the roof. The whole roof is full of solar to charge, keep the batteries charged up. But there is a port there if you wanted to mount some type of Wi-Fi router. There's 110 plugs. There's something to hang clothes up in there. Um, lots of lots of space. Let's see how much up there. There we go. But I like this. It's just not all just cabinets, right? There's places you can put things and move things. Um, but I really like this. So this has, we can have some privacy to where you can't go in and out. The shower head is here and this shower head can be mounted lots of different places. It's actually a rain shower. Um, so we can mount it right here, just like this. And it can be a rain shower right on my head, just like at my house. I can have a little shower there. So. You know, the possibilities are endless in this 17 foot RV. Typically in 17 foot RVs, you don't have a lot of space. You don't have a lot of moving room. You don't have a lot of options, but this Solus Pocket gives you a ton of options within 17 feet. So I, I'm just so impressed with, with the more I dig, the more I find. One of the unique things about Winnebago, I know all the Soluses have this, and I think it is such a great feature, is when you want more privacy, they give you these poles and they give you this curtain. So what this curtain does is it is called a rear annex, I think they call it. I remember learning that word when I was in high school about like a city and they annex different parts of the city into the city. And so they are commandeering this area for your shower. So let's see how we can do this. So we put it through here, just like this. Put it through here, just like this. And then it keeps going and there's another one. So let's do this. And then on this one, we can do this as well. Let's see, how can we do this? Hopefully I'm smart enough to do this. We only do one take videos, so there's no mistakes. We just kind of make you sit through it and patiently watch me fumble through the RVs. It's not always the funnest thing in the world, but you know what? I promise you one thing, if I can do it, there is no question you can do it. <laughs> so as we get this together, there we go, look at that. As we get it together and we get the little pin kind of in it, you have privacy. So this privacy goes all the way around here. You guys remember the show Home Improvement and the, and the guy always kind of stood over the fence like this. So now you have privacy all the way around here. So if you did want to shower or you wanted to have just more privacy back here, it comes with this curtain and you mount the curtain here, you can mount it here and it comes with more privacy. And then when you're done, it's very easy. Drop it, put it back in its place, put it back in its place. And then we fold this thing up and now you can be on the road. So I'm gonna fold it a little differently than they folded it. Now my wife gets mad at me because that's how I fold sheets. Um, she tells me that is not correct. And so I politely disagree. But look at that, it's perfect, right? So we have the rear annex, we have the shower, we have the toilet, we have the storage. Something else is very cool about Winnebago is they give you these shades. You don't have to store them anywhere. They just kind of come here and then you just kind of zip them on. And so that way, when you want to use them, you use them. It takes five seconds to do it. Um, there's also a bug screen back here. Uh, so this, you can zip the bug screen, leave this open, and you can really enjoy everything on the outside. So this bathroom, I thought this is totally different for the pocket. The old pockets have a bathroom somewhere else in the front, and this is more of a garage area. 
um, there and, and it's just to totally different. This is, this is what's making this pocket very unique um, because you have the shower, you have the toilet, you have the hot water, the cold water, the storage, the screen, the annex. You have all of this back here in a 17 foot RV. So as we walk back around the front, we're gonna jump in the van and I'm gonna show you all the different possibilities of the bed, the couch, the living room, the dinette, like all those different possibilities because there are so many different options inside of this 17 foot solo. So follow me and check it out. So before we walk in the van, I did get a little ahead of myself. There was something I wanted to show you. So this is a very nice feature because you do end up living most of your RV life, van life outside, they give you things to use outside. So this is a nice counter table. You can make drinks. You can put a uh, speaker here. You can, you know, put a little chair and you can actually eat right here if you want to eat outside. So lots of, lots of cool options there. Something else that's cool is you can access the fridge from outside as well. So this opens up and you can access eggs if you want from outside. I don't know why anybody would access their eggs when they're outside. Oh, what well, I gotta tell you, when I would take my kids camping, we went to Fort Wilderness in Disney all the time. I would always come outside, I'd have a griddle and a little George Foreman and I would make bacon, I would fry eggs, everything outside because my wife didn't like the way it smelled inside the RV. So I'd always do all that stuff outside the RV, but you have access to eggs and drinks and you can access the fridge from outside, which is really nice. Um, and then you got some plugs here. So you have a 110 plug, you got USB ports, so whatever, whatever you want to use here. But I really like how functional this is for outside. As we walk in to this 17 foot RV, it does not feel like 17 foot inside. So the whole front, both of those seats swivel around. You have all the new safety features from ProMaster, the push button start, the Apple CarPlay, USB ports, electronic dash, blind spot assist, every, all the safety features that ProMaster puts on a, uh, the brand new ProMaster. But when you're in this 17 foot coach, you see this one actually has EcoFlow lithium batteries. So this has enough batteries to run the AC for a couple hours, to run all your lights, your fridge. It has the EcoFlow batteries that are from, to give you an idea, a Travado, Winnebago Travado has a Volta system. It has about 9,000 watts, uh, watt hours. This has about 5,000 watt hours. So it's about half, a little more than half, about 40% less than a Travado. So Travados can run eight, nine hours. This thing's gonna be able to run three, four hours, something like that. Then you got your, your tank sensors, your batteries, gray tank, black, or not, there's not a black tank because it's a cassette, but your batteries are full. Then you have your Truma, a uh, hot water heater here. Um, there is a propane stove. People have asked if they can make this induction. I don't see why not. Um, you have your nice big sink with the nice big faucet here if you need to wash something. Lots of space in here to wash dishes. Um, it does not come with, with a tea kettle. This is, this is for aesthetic, I'm told. This is for the aesthetic of the van. Um, it does not come with a soap carrier either, but this is aesthetically pleasing as well. So very pretty things. Your Sunshine State RV Yeti cup, it does come with that. And I'm not giving away this award. I would not sell it. This is very valuable but we like to put it on display so everyone can see how much we care about our customers. It says for customer service excellence. You see, we do care. Um, very cool, lots of storage in here. So you got some drawers here, drawer here, and a nice big drawer down here. There's also, and remember, we're in a 17 foot RV. Lots of storage here and lots of storage here and here you can store these things other places but right now we have them in there there's also the pizza oven which is the place above the drivers and passengers head um, for storage as well so lots of little cubby holes and little space for storage okay now this besides it being 17 foot besides it having lithium and a toilet and a shower and a stove and a sink and an air conditioner and a fantastic fan and another fan in the bathroom and all this cool stuff. What I think the most unique thing about this Solus Pocket is all of the configurations that this couch can make. So I'm gonna do my best 
to make them all and show you what they look like. We're not gonna do it on film. Um, I'm gonna show you, explain it to you. We're gonna pause the video. I'm gonna remake another one and then show you that one as well. So this is the dinette. So this is pretty common. So you have a dinette where you can eat. Me and my wife can have a romantic date night. We can hang out, lots of space, right? Um, and then if you wanted something different, um, my guy Tim, who is filming right now, said he wants to go to Utah one day and film and edit videos there. So if Tim would go to Utah in this soulless pocket and he decided, you know what, I'm gonna film and I'm gonna come inside and edit, but I need a bigger space in that little space. Check this out. Tim can have his laptop, he can have another monitor, he can have all his keyboards and mouses, everything right here for editing, for working, for spreadsheets. A lot of people work remote. This is a perfect van to work remote out of. So very easy, you can do that. You can also have four people sitting here because this is just as big. If you wanted four people, there is a way to have four people. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. So I thought this was very unique. If you were working from here, you needed more space to have that, but I'm gonna show you another way to do it. So uh, stay tuned. So this was the first way. So this can be what they call like a couch, if you want, very comfortable. Armrest here, table just drops and it makes a couch is one thing this could be. Something else this could be is a twin bed. So if you're just one person and you just want to sleep just like this, this is soft and cushiony so you can sleep. I am six foot and there's plenty of room for me to sleep on here. So very neat that it can very quickly do that one. Now I'm gonna show you something else pretty cool this can do. Ready? Okay, so now I just made the double bed. So what this is, this is a double bed that you can sleep two people in. Or if you like one person, that's a bed hog. You can sleep one person, we can scoot over, and we can sleep two people. So lots of space to keep in mind. This is a 17 foot RV that has enough space to sleep two people. Um, it does have more seat belts, so I'm gonna show you how those seat belts work here in a second. But I was very impressed by the amount of bed space that this had. So I'm gonna tear it back down and I'm gonna show you how you can seat four people back here while you're driving. Well, seat two in the front, two in the back facing forward. So check this out, it's pretty cool. So now this is a way that you can seat two people facing forward, both with seat belts. So we got one strap here, and then one strap right here that straps in so I can seat driver, passenger, two people, both with a table. If only one wants a table, only one has it. Two people facing forward, both with a table and a 17 foot van. So I'm a little out of breath. I'm not used to doing all of that, trying to figure it out, but this is the thing. You know, once you start traveling in this and you realize that the way that it works best for you, I think this Solus Pocket solves a lot of problems, a lot of issues that people have had with, with Class Bs being a little too big, not offering enough stuff. I mean, in a 17 foot van to have lithium and a toilet and a shower and an air conditioner, all that in a 17 foot van is so, so unique. So when Winnebago told me that they were releasing this, I got real excited because I said, you know, there has not been anything like this in the market that is this high quality with these kind of features and options. So. We currently have these at Sunshine State RVs. Uh, I just got the first two. They told me I was the first people person to get them, at least in the Eastern United States. Check out our website, sunshinestaterves.com. Check out our other YouTube videos. Um, there's a lot of cool information on there, but we'd love to fly you down. We'd love to rent your car, have you drive down or deliver this for free anywhere you are in the United States. So thanks for watching. I know you're gonna love this Solus Pocket as much as I did, and you're gonna see the value in something that is 17 foot long with as many features and possibilities as this. So, thanks for watching.